So, I'm just sitting here watching the baby crawl, and it amazes me how in just even two weeks, one week's time even, she's gone from staying put in one place, like she would explore maybe a three-foot area, but within the short amount of time since then, like a week, week and a half maybe, she will go all over this entire house. We came into her room to sit down and play. I'm sitting in her chair. She was over there. She's made her way from over there. She came around here, circled this little ottoman I'm sitting on, and she opened the door because it was slightly ajar. She opened the door to the closet, and she's gone in there. She's pulled out. Every holiday season, I always put up some sort of garland over her changing table. Which, her changing table does not get much use lately because she's such a wiggle worm when we change her clothes now or her diaper that we have to put her on the floor. Hi. Hi. So anyway, I always find some sort of garland that I can hang here for the holiday. And right now we're doing St. Patrick's Day and Easter. We kind of have a, a mix going on. And then I'll put clings on her windows. And... My other daughter just got us these rainbow and pony ones or unicorn ones. I think I'm going to wait till after Easter to put this up because it'll kind of like be her summer, summer theme, I guess. But yep, we have bunnies and chickens and a snail. I love this little snail. It's so cute. So we do that. We do the garland and then... I'll always find a book. I don't have her Easter or St. Patrick's Day book yet, which actually next time we go to the store, we're going to get one. But I always have a book about the holiday season that we're in. And we'll read that a couple times a week. But right now we're just having free play time. Yeah. <laughs> she just waves at everything lightly. Right now her room's pretty much a mess because I'm going through all her old clothes and trying to make more room in her closet. So we've got holiday sets of clothes right now. Like this is her Halloween pile of clothes that are too small. And then here's her Christmas pile of clothes that are too small. So I'm probably gonna put those up for sale in holiday lots. But here's her closet, how we have it set up. All of her um, shirts, onesies, long sleeve onesies, sweaters, sweaters, dresses, rompers, and PJs. And she has tons of clothes and we just, every month or two, I go to this baby resale shop and buy like $100 worth of clothes and it like fills her whole closet. Cause you know, I'm not a huge believer in buying brand new clothes for babies cause they grow so quickly. And you can find some amazing items at the resale shop such as this romper is so adorable um it is from baby gap and it pretty much looked brand new when i got it, it still looks brand new it doesn't need to be ironed but this she has worn many times like four times she wore it on valentine's day when we went out to lunch with my husband and she's worn it a few other times, but what a cute little romantic, sweet, kind of baby chic little outfit I found. And I think I paid like $5 for this. I mean, come on. This thing was probably $30 brand new. Denim romper. It's like a shabby chic kids romper. I think another $5. These little polka dot jackets. Um, it's cute. Halloween, or not Halloween, a uh, Valentine's dress that she wore Valentine's weekend. It's got cute little bows on the wrists. I don't know if you can really see it there. But it too is Baby Gap, I believe. No, it's Old Navy. Oops. No one is above shopping at a resale shop. When I first told my husband that's where I get her clothes, because he'd always be like, ooh, I like this outfit, where'd you get it? Every time I answer the same thing, he's like, you're kidding. But he's finally all for me shopping there now. At first, he was a little bit above it. I'm like, you can't be above it. Plus, I saw your sister there, so <laughs> it was funny. He doesn't mind now. Anyways, we keep shorts here, pants there, um, fitted diapers here. I only have a handful of those because they're really expensive, but they're really nice. 
and they're kind of fun to just let her roll around in at night sometimes. Um, PJs down there, and I love PJ sets. I prefer those over the zip up onesies or nightgowns or anything. I love the fitted ones that are slim fitting with the pants and the separate t-shirts like the Sesame Street or um, Ninja Turtles. We love those. I just got some really cute ones at the Disney store that were on sale. I keep her muslin blankets up there. And I also keep some on the table folded nice and neat over there. Right now that table is a disaster though. Up here I have baby supplies. Um, breast pump, which I don't need anymore. I think I used that pump once. I had to buy a new pump one day. Um, use it once. I'll probably sell it. A blanket a neighbor got me. Her Christmas books. Different holiday books are up there. Um, another breast pump. I keep the boxes for everything that's valuable, like her nursery camera. I got the box up there. Um, her monitors. I keep the box for that because that's all stuff you can resell or store for your next baby. It's so much easier if you, if you have the boxes and the paperwork for them. So I'm a big keeper of all the boxes of things. I have her sit chair in here that she's pretty much outgrown. A, bo a, bo a bag of bottles and nipples that we don't use anymore. And I just dropped my phone. There we go. And back there I have the boxes for her play mats. And box of wipes and then I have a box full of all the diaper cloth diaper accessories or bags that come with the diapers back there so it's somewhat organized it just looks cluttered right now because I threw the tub and the diapers in there on the floor and of course over here we got a crib we got a bookshelf that's usually a lot a lot nicer I've started storing diapers over here because I've ran out of space in her dresser we got a little drum um, this is a toy. I just set it up there so she wouldn't get into it. Um, this is a, a light thing that shines on the ceiling. It's really pretty. Um, does all kinds of like, it looks like ocean waves kind of, or like you're looking in water and it has different colors that alternates through and it basically makes the whole room light up like that. This is a really cool gift I got from a good friend of mine for her baby shower. Um, and... This is something a friend got us. It's ceramic. It says Fifi because that's one of her nicknames. One of my best friends got me this. She hand painted it with her daughter. And I'm still trying to figure a way to hang it up. I love it. I just got to figure out how to hang it because there's no hooks or anything on them. So I might have it hot glued to a board or something. Anyway, diapers here. These are all the diapers. The China cheapies that I never used. I'm going to get rid of those. Um... Tot spots, close parent pop ins, and her Grovia One diapers, and some random nighttime diapers that I put together. And then over here on her dresser, um, we have, of course, her changing pad. Um, these need to be put somewhere. It's just extra um, pre folds and flower sack towels. Her white bees, a lamp. Two paintings my daughter painted years ago, and we we're like, oh, what are we ever gonna do with these? They were just kind of sitting in corners of the house, and when we were putting her nursery together, I was like, oh my gosh, let's put them in the nursery. And the colors all go with the room, because her colors are blue, gold, and pink, and these paintings both have gold and blue and pink, and this turquoise color is actually the color of her laundry basket, which is not in here right now. Anyway, top drawer of the dresser. We have papers, um, passies, thermometers, hair brushes, lotion, hair bows, uh, a nose sucker, just random stuff that I need to use and I have to keep up high so she doesn't get into them. Second drawer used to be blankets and all that, but since we started cloth diapering in around two, three months, it's become the cloth diaper drawer, which there's a lot of diapers that are missing because they're being washed. All of her smart bottoms, or most of them. Some Nikki's diapers, some Imagine diapers. Back here are all my blueberry diapers and lullaby diapers. And over here are some bottom bumpers, which those are really cool diapers. I'll have to like do a video on those. 
third drawer is um, cloth fibering accessories such as hemp inserts, cotton inserts, diaper liners, just a bunch of inserts and liners, um, socks. It used to be a sock and towel drawer, but I'm kind of in the process of going through and redoing everything, I think. So, um, here's some flushable liners. Her wash rags. We got a big stack of wash rags. Socks, baby leggings, uh, a used wipey, it looks like. And in the bottom drawer is towels and bibs and some random shoes. <laughs> Everything's just not very organized right now. Okay, we gotta close the drawer. Thank you, baby. Anyway, I have a 15 year old son and this was his dresser and changing table when he was a baby. Um, we just painted it over the summer to be this pink color. It was just a really pale pine color. So it looks really cute, painted. And then this little table my husband painted as well to match the changing table. And that's just some random table that one of my friends found at a garage sale. It's really nice. It's wooden and really good quality. And that's just an Ikea shelf thing, really cheap. You're okay, you don't need that. That's a no sucker, it's gross. Um, crib, got it at Babies R Us. It's the, oh, I forget the name of it. Anyway, I got this chair off Wayfair because let me tell you, there really aren't any good chair selections unless you're gonna spend an arm and a leg on a specialty shop chair. But I found that one on Wayfair for like 150 bucks, and it included the ottoman. I'm not crazy about chevron print, but out of everything they had, it was the best one, or the best looking one. Um, the lamp is gold, and it's got one of the Edison bulbs on it. Um, really cute. And her sheets are gold, gold polka dots. And then of course her name up here, the letters are falling off, we gotta re-glue them. And this cute little baby mobile. And this W that my daughter made out of styrofoam and flowers. Pink flowers, obviously. And then this I found at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> it's, a, it's her guardian of her room. And the Salvador Dolly clock, which is adorable. So that's pretty much it. I didn't know I was going to go through and detail her nursery to you guys, or I probably would have straightened it up, but you know what? This is real life, and nobody has a perfect life that I know of, so. Under her bed are different toys that we've just kind of shoved under there, and this big pink dinosaur was her Valentine's Day present, and she snuggles on it. We watch movies on it, and I imagine as she gets a little bit older, it'll be her cuddle buddy for movie time, and different things. It's pretty huge. So, Oh, the table. Oh, I get lots of comments on this table. Got this at um, the store that used to be called Garden Ridge. I think it's called At Home now, but it's gold. It's cute. Um, probably not going to be baby safe for much longer. So I told my daughter if I don't use it in here anymore that she could have it. But um, we'll see. She likes it. Hey, Wolfie. Wolfie, hi. Hi. Thanks for letting us see your room. Thanks for letting us hang. <laughs> okay, guys. Let me see. Like and subscribe if you want. Give us a thumbs up if you like. Like I said, I'm all new to this. And I'll probably say that after every single video I ever make. Come on, Renee. But, yep, that's it. Let me know what your nurseries look like. Um, I'm totally into baby stuff, so... Any recommendations on any things I should add to her room, take away from her room, you guys let me know. Thanks for hanging. See you soon.